right to another episode of Anno 1800 where we are continuing our journey here in Embeza with the most beautiful of ornaments and like I gotta tell you like just being able to create a structure like this it makes me feel some kind of way 100% the Hagia Sophia is one of my favorite architectural buildings period and to see it here and for Embeza to actually have beautiful ornaments for once is crazy it's absolutely incredible it's like a mixture of like eastern roman architecture with ottoman so like you have a whole bunch of like ottoman flavor in this one it, it's crazy i i love it i'm, I'm in love so uh what are we going to be doing today we're going to be working a little bit on the storyline for uh embeza i'm sending the enterprise over to talk to blake because i haven't received a message back from our empress saying whether she knew or didn't know that I'm already here, but we can try to resolve the situation to the best of our ability. The other thing is that I really want to work on these linseed farms. Ultimately, there will not be any farms or anything on Taborim at some point. It's just going to be people. The problem with this region is they don't have a commuter pier, so we're going to have to form little districts wherever we go. Not a problem whatsoever. That's just something that we have to bear in mind. I already have that one. I need a mosquito tent. There it is. Wow, <laughs> my RNG is actually good today. Does that mean it's gonna be a good day of recording? Changes, I hope. Oh, and then this fucker shows up. Like, and then this fucker shows up. I just shoot. No changes, really? No. What, what am I gonna do? They don't have soap. I don't have any communications with Weston. That's their problem, not mine. Apparently, I I don't know. All right, so we're almost here at Blake's Harbor. Let's figure out what he's here for. Ah, familiar face. Splendid. Come now, take me to this Katima. We have much to discuss. Do I look like an errand boy to you, bitch? He should know of me already. I wrote often enough. But communications in this land seem haphazard. Hmm. I don't like his tone. A meeting? Very well. Although I fear I know the outcome, let us nonetheless be civil and prepare a banquet. You don't have to, he's being a dick. Only our reporting. No in. banquet hall is complete if not suitably tapestry. There must be dishes aplenty. Let Sir Blake know the bounty of Embesa. Wouldn't it be? Wait, I have to be the one to make those? Why do I have to be the one to do it? Oh, hell. Well, I mean, I don't even have... Well, no, that's not true. If I improve the production here and just probably build a couple more of these farms, I should be alright. Okay, so... Let's actually get that going. So where would I want this trade union? Over here seems to be pretty solid. Yes, but then I have to move the last one. Okay, so let's plop it down right here. And then this one needs to be relocated. We'll do that like really quickly so yeah that's where we're gonna have to have it and build the farm fields you know what that that works out perfectly okay i'm just gonna disregard that road over there all right we're gonna need a one of those we're gonna need where where's this thing ready to fly because we're gonna have to boost the living hell out of these for now. Okay, mosquito tent, and we're also gonna need the birdhouse. So these guys are gonna be working 33 seconds, okay. But the thing is that the hibiscus tea person improves the production, I think. Where is she? Tea spicer. Yeah, so the productivity- you celebrate your leadership would be increased by 20%, which means we're going to definitely need to have more. At the same time, we're also going to need these farms in order to apparently make more linen, because then we're going to have to make the tapestries. Blech. Okay. So, uh, let's just get some more of these farms, because, you know, why not? We have to capitulate to Mr. Blake for the time being. Uh, let's try and get a canal going through here. 
I don't know whether that'll be enough, but we'll we'll see. See how far it goes. Because I don't really want to loop it around here quite yet. I can have it go like straight up this direction. Or alternatively, you know, I could do something smart. And I can do this. It wouldn't take much to Kind of like that part to be filled up. No, don't do that to me. Okay. And there. Alright. So there's another farm working in 33 seconds. So that's just... in. It's insane. And this is without, like, fertilizer and all that stuff. So I honestly don't think we're going to need it here. It would be nice to have it. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think it's going to be necessary. So this is going to be an interesting spot. If we're going to put a fertilizer silo later, like this one is kind of screwed, but at the same time I could put it like back here and it should work. Over here, we're going to have to put it like in this back area. So from here to here can't be anything and we're going to need a road connection. So we're going to build that to there. Uh, let's get another canal on this side. Have it go to here. Yep, I think that's good. We can have it, like, back here a little bit. There we go. Alright. Looking good. Looking good. Because the, the ultimately, the road is going to go through, like, here. Okay. That actually looks rather nice. Okay, well, listen, asshole. I don't have the diving bell. Because the quest decided it wanted to glitch on me, so it's not my fault. Another linseed farm... Right here we'll do. Have a little room for the fertilizer silo if we need it. Should have a decent amount of space here, actually. If not all of the space that we need. Oh, it looks pretty damn good, not gonna lie. But, I mean, we're gonna need more, so. Uh, let's see. If I were to put you here. As opposed to here. Here would be better. Uh, yeah. Go there. And then one more should suffice. Probably not here, though. Like, over here, and I still have... Uh, I'm still in the radius? Okay, that's good. So let's get that over there. And we're gonna loop it around. Uh, can you go all the way to here and then, like, fix that? Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Some beautiful farm fields. I should potentially build another one of those. Because I actually like the layout of this building more than I do the other one. The generic one that we have. So I'll put it like right here because it's not on the irrigated land. And build the road around it. What I do like about this building are these little uh, canopies. I like how they're on the road. And they're coming. They're bringing the stuff that's necessary. That's perfect. Okay, so now we have eight farms working. And what I think I'll do here immediately is go ahead and put paved roads so they deliver the stuff faster. Hey. Do your thing. I'm in no mood for your foolishness right now, game. You know what was happening before the recording started? Actually, you, you don't know unless you're actually here and spying on me. But uh, what was happening is, or was, my mic decided that it didn't want to work properly. So I'm over here freaking the hell out. Like, oh crap, this is not going to work. How am I going to record today? But lo and behold, it just uh, it just needed to... Or OBS was not allowed... Or it's picking up that the mic was actually there. So I just had to make it known. I did a couple tests, so it would really, really suck if I record this entire video and no audio is set to it. But I'm pretty sure it is. Alright, I need to get this entrance all set up. Alright, look at, look at that. I love the paved roads here. I love everything about this region! Every living thing about it, it's amazing. 
Okay, those are working, so I want to send the Enterprise over here to Wahadisha and start off. Uh, the Komnenos head back over to Katima's Harbor, and I think, um, do we have the means to build the Research Institute at the moment? I don't think so. I think we still need to do some stuff. Maybe. While they're moving, uh, let's get- oh, you know what I actually found? Which is really nice, too. Uh, this is a really big town hall building. Like, look at the size of this thing. Oh, its radius is ginormous. What the hell? I was actually thinking about putting it, like, right here. Can I? I can, actually. Get rid of that uh, marketplace. We don't need it anymore. It's a little bit funky, but yeah. We can put it down right there. We're gonna need 25 of the mud bricks, so you know what? Uh, buy the amount that this man has. Uh, it doesn't have anything, like, worthwhile. You know what I was also thinking? That I kind of screwed up on the, uh... I want the draft. I, I kind of screwed up on the canals. I can, later on, try to do, um like, canals through Taborim and see how that works. Be my, I might as well grab these, then. Anything pertaining to, like... I already have her. I don't really need the net trap at the moment. What's this for? Oh, that's just a museum thing. Oh, hello. Lobster fishery. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, I need that. You know what? I'll grab the drum, too. What the hell? Eh. I'm probably gonna need that at some point. Alright, let's get those back here. And is the Enterprise over here? So let's start with Wahadisha. Once a land of bountiful wonders, torn apart by countless wars. Mm. I once desired for Wahadisha to blossom anew. But that fruitless endeavor drains resources I can no longer afford. No longer afford, or you just don't want to? That's the real question. Oh, I just didn't gain information from them? Oh, I see. There are writings housed in the library of Kedusi and Etun that were old even before your old world took to the seas. But Kedusi's priests cling stubbornly to a faith long forgotten will not join in Bessa until the day I decree their dogma is only true. So what you're saying is that they're the Greeks here. <laughs> that, that's funny. <laughs> so going back to my big fat Greek wedding for a second, I, I saw this clip yesterday on just scrolling through because you know like YouTube will do like the whole recommended thing. And uh, it's Gus talking, the second movie, talking with uh, one of the university recruiters at the high school where Paris is trying to get, you know, information to go to a college. And it was for Northwestern. And he goes up to the guy. He's like, she will not go to your school unless you teach Greek culture. And then asks him what, you know, who he was. And pretty much he, he, he said like some, I remember the name of the culture that he said, but he was like, so you Greek? No. Alexander the Great spread his seed all throughout the world. I am the descendant of Alexander the Great. I, I love that. I love that movie. I love all their movies so much. My friend actually got a response back from Nia Vardalos. Isn't that crazy? Like, I, I was freaking out for it. For genius. The pirates of Angarev deem themselves princes, inhabiting the hallowed palace of the Elamites. But the luster of its glories dulled long ago. They refuse to bow to me, or any not of the blood of Selamawi. Many times have I tried, but I cannot bring them to reason. 
Wahadesha expects a delivery. Take it to them, and in so doing, learn of their troubles. Okay. You have done well to suppress Angareb. Peace is bought with might. So has it ever been. The new defenses of Tabarim will ensure all know that Ketima the Builder shall be the bane of any who oppose him. Whoops. So uh, that was a byproduct of my fleet accidentally firing on Angareb. <laughs> <laughs> oh rip okay well you know it, it happens it happens oh crap okay so uh that part of the story is probably um gone at this point but he say he has new defenses here oh yeah he does <laughs> whoops <laughs> yeah, he, he actually does. He, he brought an arsenal here, an Imperial Military Academy. You see, that guy right there, and this guy right here in the white, are training. And they are 100% Rantians, training Katima's forces. Okay, that is how our influence is spreading throughout Mbeza. And then Archie's ass shows up. Like, why? Why would you be here? Okay. Let's build this town hall. Ooh, very pretty. Oh, so it's got four items. Okay, so... Um... We can definitely do this lady. All in base and residence plus 10% or 10 income from the musician's court and the dried meat reduction, like that. What does this do? Affects all fire stations. Uh, what are their radius right now? It shouldn't be too bad, actually. Actually, you know what? This would stack well with the hollow tree drum. Because the range of this thing is going to be important. And then the reductions are going to be important as well. So let's put that there. Silver lining. Let's see this thing right here. Okay, we can do one more. Uh, I mean, their happiness goes down, but is it that bad? Sorry about that, folks. When uh, it, when it rains, it pours. You know the old saying. Uh, I went away just to navigate through one task, and one task became uh, a lot more than one task. So, uh, what I did is I actually uh, brought this building a little bit to the right here because it was kind of annoying me that it was on the road. But then it, it's kind of on the road here. I don't know why this is the case, but. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Didn't think that would happen. Alright, let's uh, get these guys back in here. And... I think we also had this one, right? No, we didn't have... I don't think we had this lady in there. Let me get rid of her for now. I'm gonna do the hollowed out drum one, and then the... 10 string thing because what now the Lord provides for. so the island average seems to be okay all right and we need to do what here Cargo stations. okay retrieve the supplies from for wahadesha from katima's clipper okay Let's go, commencing. which clipper Water never truly slumbers. all right this one Okay, so they are loaded up on linseed over there. I need to get a, another trade union or something going on around here and put the hibiscus tea stuff down. Can't put it over here because there's no room. I I want to say like I could put it around here, but I don't think that's going to work either. Hmm. Let us not tarry then. Well, if we were to bring out this stuff over here, right? I think it, this might not be a bad spot for it. Let's get the trade union. Um, let's put it down like here for now. Like I said, this is probably just going to be temporary because I'm going to be putting these particular things on different islands. 
It's a minute 30? Okay, so hold on. Where's the, um... That's for the dry house, right? No. Dry house. Pipe maker. That's the tea spicer. Okay. Okay, so we can only reduce it just a little bit. Alright. Alright, with two down, is that gonna be enough for the population? Currently, yes, but we have a shit ton more linseed, so I can actually justify this being four for now. And then we're also going to have to put down a warehouse so they can transport the goods there. All right, so now with um, hibiscus tea flowing, we should gain some bonus happiness from everybody. Yeah, that should be perfect. Gotta love it. And it will make them pretty happy. Plus six on them is pretty is pretty good. And the other guys are gonna be completely happy because they're gonna have all their needs fulfilled. And they're gaining the ones of timber. Oh, did I bring in the ponchos? Let's see. If I have ponchos here, I'll give it to him. Yeah, I do. Okay. So let's go over here and to their lifestyle needs and give them some ponchos. So we'll get two plus shepherds on this. That's pretty good. I like that. All right, so let's continue on here. We have the goods. Let's head on over to Wahadesha and turn them in. Now, as for the Komnenos, I'm gonna keep this big boy over here. What's this? Dude, can I have some of these cannons? I want some of these cannons, man. Not this one, I can build that one. I want these. <laughs> Those are Rantian guns. <laughs> Alright. I would welcome you better. But even the patient Jat has deserted our island. Well, that's us. Is old. Some of its beauty yet survives. Follow Ebal. He will show you. Okay. It is an honor to be your guide. Follow me and I shall take you through the Katsar, the center of the of center of Wahadesha. Jesus. In the first level of the Katsar, there used to be awats and pens. But most of the animals have fallen to the heat and droughts, and the pens have long been left forsaken. Well that's unfortunate. Or the animals the ones to really take the hit. Okay. Oh, we gotta click on this. There was a thriving marketplace here once, where Aesu watched over countless herds, but now all that's left is the din of idle sailors and dockhands slumming through the Khazar's lower levels. Man, this is depressing. Above the lower Khazar is the village we used to stand. Much of it is derelict and forlorn today. But what few children remain on Wahadesha are fond of playing in the shaded sands and dirt. Oh, Anakin would hate this place. Long ago, we built those walls and set powerful gates within them. To protect the Khazar from many dangerous beasts that the elders called Rekye? Rekye? But even they ultimately fled the island when death and dust made it their home. The House of Bloodlines. Celebrate your leadership. For millennia, the House of Hayata Wahadesha ruled from there. The last of that line still lived there, led by the venerable matriarch Yara. Their authority is long faded, and all now turn to the chieftain for leadership in the most matters, but old Yara is still a respected figure in our community, as her memory is so extensive, even more than an Abu's. 
Abu means elephant. It is a pity our language, Demihar, is long, is lost among the younger generations. For many of the elders, especially Yara, speak precious little in Bezen. That's sad, man. It, this place is in such decay. Katima's a... Hmm. He unfucked everything, apparently. Him and his line. We have to bring back the culture. We come now to the summit of our island. This cliff is often rugged and beaten with harsh winds. But there is a contemplation learning to be had in gazing out. I was reading! From here. Land and law. Ask your question, Shema, and I will answer. I was trying to understand what you were saying, but then you immediately interrupted me. Oh, okay. Select a place and ask Abel. Okay, are you going to interrupt me about it? Okay, ask about Pir Itaru the Oracle. The Pir Itaru has stood mysterious for millennia. A river tempered, old as in Besa. Okay, ask about Wahadesha's oasis. Gotta wait for old Nate to fill the trade. Water is impure. Long ago, there was beauty here, but now it is though solid and scorpion touched. My guy, you need a hug. Okay, ask about the ruined old world camp. Oh, okay. The Queen's influence still right here. You see this? You see this? Queen's imperialism. Lady Margaret Hunt's bullshit. They destroyed this island. We will fix it. That's the new Rantian propaganda machine at work. Strangers built this camp long ago, brought tall ships from the north, and many wars that we remember as Yara provisions. Okay. Ask about the ancient Isahid. That thing I'm saying. When the sun first rose, the gods blessed the island soil. On that land grew Isiads, the eldest and tallest, the memory tree. I want a memory tree. Okay. Ask about the salt saturated trunks. Floods no longer grace the Waha. Salt beds pile as the water dries up. As soon will we, like our fathers. This man is depressing it's me. time for guard duty by the Mecha. Where Lord Ketema's provisions are stored, I leave you harbor bound. Our people know much. Talk to them and learn. If dismayed by our speech, come find me. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Wahadesh's young chieftain. Yara knows most about the olden times, but her speech can be impenetrable. Okay. Source investigation. New clue. Okay. Oh, that's kind of new. I haven't seen that before. I remember tales of Keba, the well, bringing water to the Waha. A water womb, life-giving. Come, I will tell you. Uh, what what the hell you be saying, man? Are you just trying not to pay attention to her? Because I fully understand what she was saying. My Wahia apologies. My grandmother used to tell me at childhood when she was looking after me how she used to forage and fish for a strange little motherfucker. I recall... Some of the curiosity with the water of the speech. Okay, subject of scarcity and therefore fascination. When I was a child, she spoke of the Waha itself and not of the Ituru. She said she used to put here in Sala Hamdi? I don't know. But back in the Kubu of the Ituru, delighted to see them jump. Oh, so you're talking about like, like there are animals and shit here? Okay. I always wondered how a kebab would have learned to force an animal's leap unless the waters flowed powerfully down into the Ituru. Well, yeah. We gotta work that shit out. If there was indeed an Ituru on Wahadesha once long ago, it must have been far from deep-rooted Isahids. But now the Wasi over there has taken over. It's hard to find traces of anything. Okay. Uh, seek the Wasi to find the Kaba. Okay. Oh, there we go. If you can clear the Wasi, perhaps we can find traces of the Ituru and Keba below. Okay. Remove the rubble. A shed yet. A water well. Cool. Time clogged and lily logged, but hope for water still. Okay, observe. An antique well hidden under rubble, the source of the Ituru dried up river that once 
There was fighting here long ago. Kashtan forces fled, bloodied by Ketema's host. Now only ruins. Ketema's host? I see. The waters of my patience are running dry. Okay, let's sail over to Katima's island and inform him of the fantastic news that he is still a piece of shit. <laughs> Alright, look at the island average, that's pretty good. Dancing is like breathing. It's the linen of life. I at least want to put some collar words around here while the Enterprise gets into position. Uh, can we do the same around here? We have enough. So, Wahadesha. Is there hope to restore the island? Or is it indeed a lost cause? You can restore it? Water below, you say? Then we must bring it forth, at once. No shit. Let us not tarry then. Change must come to Wahadesha. My patience and charity grow thin. They will adapt or be abandoned. My guy. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to have a talk. We're gonna have to have many talks, actually. The first one being, how come your people are constantly, like, getting rid of their little speech bubbles so I can't read them all the way through? We all want to find out what the hell is happening, okay? And we all read at different speeds. I just prefer to be a little bit slower for enunciation, an emphasis on the syllable. Wasteland. Very well. Let's get on with it. Yeah, get on with Barely it. had the shit yet been found, then Ketema sent aid. A lord most trustworthy and caregiving. <laughs> you sure you heard the, the shit that he was talking no about you. Used to water. It needs Isaias to ward the threat of the Wak. A water curse. Sail to Caduceus and Tony? Okay. Died long ago. But there may be some on other islands, by deep waters and cool water. Okay, let's head on over to Caduceani Tony and inquire about the Isseids. With that happening, let's see if the Komnenos can pick up anything else here. Well, I definitely want the bricks. Um, that's going to be important. Who are you for? Affects Hibiscus Farm, Indigo Farm, Linseed Farm, Workforce Needed. Oh, perfect. I like that. Even though it's not really going to matter in comparison to the other ones. Uh, she's probably going to be useful everywhere else, too. Uh, you know... Isiads, you say? <laughs> what a strange dialect. Trees, I believe. This was found by the shore behind the library. Take as many as you wish. Oh, thanks. Cool. Alright, let's head on back here. So if they had it, why didn't they just bring it over? You see, like, you're that close in proximity. It's not like you can't see them. That's wild. This place looks so much better when you actually have, like, paved roads and whatnot over here. I'm gonna see if I can put, like, a tree or something. Yeah, hell yeah, okay. You know what we can do? We can have like a, a low hanging wall over here. So, what shall it be? We are close to clearing the last of the rubble. Now comes the time to plant the Isia trees for water holding. Alright. Plant some trees. Plant some trees. Plant some trees. Alright. Order the workers to clean. I'll get the coffee ready. You guys keep working. Oh, there's the water. It does a hut no longer. Water flows, life bathing, and tempest quiet. A miracle. Let's see it fill up. Done much in little time. With water, 
Waha can surely now manage for themselves. This city is a magnet for genius. I love how it just fills. How we celebrate, the Wasi of Pa Itaru must be repaired. It is thus forlorn and poor. Why do I have to do every living damn thing? Does he even have like Not twelve? In vain do the wandering west. I'll just bring the common us over. More expenses. Time we made higher plans for Wahadesha. Dude, I'm ready to backhand this man. <laughs> like, he needs to see the bigger picture. If you help them, they will help you in turn. If you don't help them and be a dick, they're gonna hate you, and then you're gonna have civil war. Like, is that what you want? Okay, tell me then. Why should I squander any more resources to need to expand my empire just so these islanders can feast and waste their days away? It is time for such irresponsibility to change. If Mbeza is to thrive and become great, all must play their part. Even Wahadesha, I will not have them merely survive. They must grow prosperous and contribute to the nation's efforts, or be left behind. Keep listening, unfortunately. There is land aplenty here, enough to feed the entire empire. These old stones must be torn down, and water returned to the drylands. No longer will theirs be the language of arcane to all. The time for industrious rejuvenation has come for the oasis. This would destroy Wahadesha's unique identity. That is the point. Motherfucker! You think their manners quaint and amusing? But they are foreign and antiquated. There is no place for alien culture in a united and basin empire. In restoring the oasis and farmland, we will lift them out from poverty and make them true and bases out of them. That's just horrible. My men will be ready to start as soon as they are needed. In the meantime, I will ask you to tear down those forsaken piles of stone. We will need as much as we can to grab the carved works and carve the deep canals and prepare for the farmland. I will not be a part of this act of vandalism. Then let them be your burden. I will not bleed the embezzled stockpiles any further for the irrigates and layabouts. Or the ingrates, excuse me. Ingrates and layabouts. I need coffee. If you so wish to keep this piece of mummified history alive, then let it be on your shoulders. To not let them suffocate amidst the dust and rags of their dead land. This is their emperor, by the way. If you wish to help Wahadesha on their terms, then you shall bear the responsibility alone. May thrive, for it may fade. And when it thrives, you get nothing. The season for Messiette is nigh. A time of fancy flight. Did you bring enough so all goes well? Well, you'll find a way. I'm sure. Okay, I already... Airborne and ready to go. Uh, put... Here, you know what? Alright, I can just click it. Is it gonna work? I... I have to like loop around. Let me send the common us out of here just Anything so it does. Oh wow, he's got a ship with a line for sale. <laughs> okay, turn around. Okay, what do we have to repair? I think we have to repair. Oh, the trading post. No, hold on. I didn't expect you back so soon. Yeah, I got you. Start presently. We are thankful for your help, ever stalwart. Okay, establish a plan with the chieftain. Okay, Katima refusing to support us is a terrible thing to hear, but I must thank you on behalf of the inhabitants of Wahadesha for defending our island's legacy. I got you, man. Our supplies are already running dangerously low. We are in desperate need of new delivery. Though the waters are returning to the Waha, it will take weeks, perhaps even months, before anything grows again. Time we do not have in order to intend to survive alone. I will divide. I will deliver the goods you need. Okay. Your generosity does you credit, but I'm afraid we'll need a little bit more delivery. We'll need a regular supply until the island can provide for itself. We may not be many, but the hard labor that is in this island comes from many hungry work, and there is little room on the island to store goods in any quantity. Uh, there is salt here plenty. Perhaps it could be good for. I will take care of the deliveries. We must ensure the Waha grows anew. Uh, I'll take care of the deliveries. Once again, you save our lives. Once you've brought the first supplies, 
will set to clearing the rubble from the Piritu. This should raise the waters high enough to start seeding the fields anew. Agrees to the plan. Resources are thin. Any help you could send would be appreciated. I got you, homie. I even have what you need. Because I got the tea and I have the dried meat, probably. I think, I hope, I don't know. Uh, let's see. I have the tea and I have the meat. Okay. We good. We good. Uh, do I need to build a police station? I, I don't think so. These guys are so happy here. Like, crazy happy. What I do need to do is probably build another one of these brick dry houses. Uh, I'll probably build it on the other side here. Seems to be room. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Have them face each other? Yeah, have them face each other. That's good. So now we'll be able to uh, maximize the amount of clay that we have here in the TEF. That way we can get a whole bunch more bricks and then we won't have to buy it from this dumbass. Ready to fly. Okay, so bring that stuff over here. The Enterprise is heading on over as well. So I'm thinking, um, as far as like city construction is going to go, uh, I might... Like, eventually these farms are going to go away, right? And this area is just going to be completely homes and all that good stuff. I'll probably build another wall from here to here of the same size and whatnot. And then the city will pretty much be split into districts. And maybe one over in this side as well. This will be a really nice area, I think. And then maybe I can utilize the canals for beautification. Yeah. I think it's possible. Because they actually do look nice if you uh, you put like two to them. Look at this. They're very pretty. They're very pretty. All right, deliver all of these for me, and then we are gonna need how much? 30 dried meat and 24 hibiscus tea, okay? There's the 25, and there's the 30. Room to maneuver. We have to teach Katima a lesson, okay? We have to teach him that this is how you're supposed to, you know, care about your people. We fought a war to protect our people. He's ready to abandon his. That's horrible. Just because they're, you know, downtrodden and they've had, like, terrible luck? That shouldn't be a reason to abandon them. If you have the means to help them, that's different. You should always strive to help people. If you don't, you're just a prick. Okay, we already have that. We also have him. Tapestry looms and ceramic works. Uh, oh, productivity by 40%. Substitute workforce. Oh, well, okay. Well, that, that happened. <laughs> he actually does have a nice palace. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like, if I could get this thing, I, I would. Is there water coming from the top? Oh, no, I thought, I thought it was because of the, uh, the fire effect. <laughs> All right, let me get this uh, mosquito thingy. Give me a water pump. You know what, I'll, I'll get these. You never know when they could come in handy. Ooh, cheetah. Ooh, hello. Oh, hell. Okay. Nice. I like him. I'm grabbing him. Okay. Unload the goods. I like how we provided it to these guys first, and then we, we're going to be doing it to... Uh, what's his name? Itaru has stood mysterious for millennia. A river temper, old as in Besa. All right, it's ready to be restored. The old ruins of Wahadesh's main temple, also known as the Oracle. The waters around it lend some... So, oh, come on. And remove the rubble. Oh, wonderful. Look at that. 
Messiet is a rite of fertility, of life celebrity. It is the heart of Embesa, and we will teach you of it. Thank you. I would love to learn. Life returns, but there is much to do ere we become a Waha once again. Okay. Let's speak to this guy. I provide them venison, but the children need eaten, goat's milk. Perhaps the priest of Kidusi can spare us some. You want some goat's milk? I mean, I have a whole bunch. I guess I brought one extra. Oh, we brought 25. I need to bring 24. Must have, like, misclicked. That's the thing, like, when you're recording, like, sometimes, even though, like, if, if I were to just be playing the game by myself, I probably wouldn't make this many mistakes, but... I feel like I'm I'm still getting acclimated to this whole like I'm now creating content and I need to explain everything that I'm doing. So it's a process. It's a process. No one said you're gonna learn this stuff overnight. It's very fun though. I, I will say it's been very fun. And it's gonna be insanely fun. I can't wait for the next Anno game. That the Roman stuff, man, is just. Mm. I can't wait. Finish studying them for his zoological study of Mbesa. So please, take the brutes. All right. I don't. I don't want to read that yet. I think you gave it. Yeah, the Roman stuff, man. Pax. What is it? Anno seven or uh, one hundred seventeen? Oh, Ubisoft. Please, notice your humble servant. Give me an early access code for that game, man. I will be so happy. I would legitimately cry. The amount of memes that I will produce are going to be top tier. Like Spartacus references, HBO Rome. Can you imagine? Oh my god. Okay, I, I'm a new channel goal is to achieve that status. I don't know if I'm going to get there, but I'm going to give it my damn best effort in order for it to be possible. Yeah, already. Waha is a place of fire sands and heat pain. I know no Awut who can resist such extremes. But perhaps there is such a breed. Uh, okay. Find a heat resistant animal and take it to Waha Desha. Okay. Optional. Consult a zoological tome in Caduceus Anatoni. Optional. Find and observe herds of animals in the corners of Katima's island. Okay. Uh, well, you know what? I have always been of the opinion that I should just go and read about it, so let's head on over here. Consult a zoological tome in Caduceani Tony. Okay, so, uh, North Wing. The library is restricted to servants of the Lord. The texts here are holy scripture. Okay, guarded okay. from unsanctioned influence. Okay. Compendium of Embezen Fauna by Teke the Blind. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, goats. Friendly, omnivorous, live in herds, possess of two horns and ward off predators. Smallish, covered in short white hair. Observation. Foul-tempered when, when hungry, which is often, provide delicious milk, enjoy mountainous terrain. Okay. And Oryx. See, I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. Friendly herbivores, herd dwellers, possess of two long, sharp horns used to ward off threats. Medium size, covered in brown hair with motifs. This is just describing me. <laughs> I, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I don't have horns. Observations. Quite temperament. Okay. Cetaceans consider the flesh a delicacy. Can survive without drinking for a week. Okay, so that's what we need. So, that's the one thing. Okay. Uh, deliver an oryx to Wahadesha from Trader Post. Okay, find and observe herds of animals in corners of Katima's oh, island. Oh, okay, okay. so let's head on over to Emperor Katima's island. And as for animals, right? So he's got some goats over here. Right? But it's not... That's not what we're looking for. We got some birds over here. Are there any animals, like, over here? I don't see anything. Hmm. 
Another foreigner? You people breed like rabbits. Well... I learned plant law from my Wahiyet, as she from hers before. Come, let me show you. What does she want me to do? Oh. This is a sacred plant, but also one with many uses. Its roots run deep and keep their ground moist and fertile, but its branches sway in the gentle breeze and breathing shade. Tradition says most bountiful islands are found in the Isiot grows, which is why I chose to plant my garden at the foot of one of our last Isiots. Okay. Wow, I actually managed to get through that. Kira seems to be growing teff grass here, which is a small and meaningful contribution. Okay, a shadow of fresh air provide orange trees, which are quite pleasant. Ooh, I love oranges. The sun of Wahadisha is cruel and scorching. We're not in for the thick shade of the orange trees around it. My garden was surely burned. And who doesn't love fresh oranges after a hard day's labor? True! True, I love oranges. Okay, what else is she... Okay, well, I asked her about... Okay, my crop is mainly tep, a certainly resilient plant, but even if it can grow in proper conditions. So it is with the Waha. If you wish to restore it, you need to placate the land with isiate and orange trees. Okay. Alright, well, I, let me get the animal first. I, I think I need to just buy them. New orders. Uh, here, have some tea. You, you, sell, you feel like you need it. Okay. That's a vulture. I'm not grab it though. I also want the statue there. An eastern giant snail. I, I need this mosquito net though. I'm not gonna get the spider. A Nyla. Ah, there it is. Perfect. I'll grab the holy book too while I'm at it. Got all the purples. Uh, I already have that one, but I'll, I'll grab another for the hell of it. Yeah, okay, that works. Okay, let me send this stuff over here. And then we'll talk to Kira... Kiria, I think that's how you say her name. Land healing relies on the nurture of plants. Orange isiates, croplands, dark isiates. But the waha is dry and needs more. Okay, pick up Caesar Katima's clipper and then head for Wahadesha. Okay. Alright, turn around. Grab it from him. He's gonna bitch, I already know. Oh, we have a whole bunch of uh, bricks over here. Let's get all that upgraded. Beautiful roads. I told you he was gonna bitch. So I think all of our roads here are now uh, paved roads. Minus this little portion. And obviously back here, but yeah, we got everything set up. Look at that, that's so pretty. We need to do a little bit of a walk through our town. It's so bustling, I love it. I love it so much. Mm. It is such a privilege to pass on one's wisdom. Oh, I gotta work on getting them to stew. Then they want what? The illuminated script and then the lanterns. Alright. Shall we? Oh, I need to deliver a jet too? Oh boy. Only I'm reporting in. Okay, yeah, let's help her the first. Jet is a holy bird, known for its insect hunger and beauty. Bring a jet to the Waha, and our hearts. Would hope fill. I think I remember this. It's not actually the name of the animal as a job. It's new life. Come, I will show you the apportioned place for each plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll tackle that in a second. But I don't think it's the name. The a jet is not the name of that particular animal that you will find in uh, Taburim over here. It's labeled as something else, but it has the exact same picture. Okay, let's start uh, planting, planting, and planting. 
Very nice. And get rid of those. Get rid of those. Very pretty. Plant the indigo seeds. Plant the flex. Hibiscus. Such verdant life. Wow. Miriam did not love growing as I do. But I believe he would agree we have done good here. Oh yeah. It looks beautiful. Looks absolutely beautiful. Okay. Time to see if we can find the animal in question. Oh, that's gonna be good. I need that. Who are you? Affects spice farm and high sienna spice farm. Ooh, okay, thank you very much. There he is. It's a gray crowned crane. That that's the one. All right, I have a lot of stuff here. I'm gonna trade most of it to. Uh, hold on. Airborne and ready to go. Oh, <laughs> we're both kind of full up, though, aren't we? Let's uh, head both these ships over to the main harbor area over here. I do want to upgrade some more buildings because we're gonna need more elders than we need shepherds right now. So let's upgrade around the Hagia Sophia. Wonderful. There's some open spots here that we can do something with. Uh, let's see what we can put here. Mm. We can definitely have an elephant statue. I like that a lot. And then... Oh! Public bookshelf. I like that. Uh, put one here. That's wildlife watchtower, but we can't even see it. Oh, that's a big thing. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Wouldn't it be? All right. Turn all this stuff in. We're getting some really, really good. Um, Stuff here. Only are reporting in. Okay, and Enterprise, head back over to Wahadesha, please, because we need to deliver them the crane, and hopefully finish out the Wahadesha storyline here, and extend the big middle finger to Katima for wanting to abandon these poor people. What a jackass. He doesn't deserve to rule. I might have to renegotiate the Treaty of Emperor and Bay. Uh, that's really important. If you guys don't know, that is the treaty that we signed with uh, Emperor Katima, as far as the uh, Rantian Imperium, to have administrative control over these particular islands in this section of Mbeza, uh, of whom will remain semi-autonomous under our control. So that's why when he's actually saying that Wahadesha should be abandoned, I counter that by saying that technically they are under our protection, and therefore we cannot allow any of our people, regardless of region, regardless of culture, religion, sex, it does not matter, identification, gender, it does not matter a damn bit to me, they are all Rantians, and they must be protected. Everyone is welcome. And it's a gorgeous location. Like, why would you want to abandon this? Just because you have to put a little bit of resources into it, you jackass? What if I were to take your nice little guns away? What if I were just to fire on your harbor? Believe me, I can bring my entire fleet over here and do it. New orders. Release the jets. Let its blessed flight fill our dry skies with beauty. The Waha thrives again with soft flight and moist life. There we go. will live again. Only a wise one could restore the Waha and culture respect. With your help, Waha Desha and the Empire will grow greater. Only are reporting in. You're damn right it will. All right. Let me go and tell this idiot that his island's actually been saved. Uh, we should probably consider some more linen mills. At least one, I think, will do. 
I'm gonna get rid of this road here. I don't really want to do that. Um, we're gonna pop you down. It's kind of getting a little congested over here. Uh, where's another? I could probably pop it down like right here. I see you have good news. Oh, now That's you're happy. Thing. Now you're happy. I had run out of patience. But you showed me the virtue of perseverance. You have breathed life back into Wahadesha. There is a natural beauty to it now. And many in this city have been inspired by their traditional example. Raising gardens oh, yeah, and terraces in. for all to revel in. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he actually did build the Imperial Gardens. He's the first one to reap the benefits. Fucking asshole. The restoration of Wahadesha led to Katima to experiment with, on his canals and ultimately build these wondrous gardens. Meanwhile, the innovation has spread through Embeza to enhance its existing capacities. Okay, so that means our, our irrigation has gone up a little bit. Okay. The Botanical Gardens. The renewed waters of Wahadesha inspired the Emperor to build these new gardens in Taborim, a testament to ever-increasing prosperity and flourishing of Embeza's land tiling. Okay. So, again, you reap the benefits of what we provided. Thanks, man. Bring Anything for you. Literally, anything for you, because he would have let you die. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these roads as well while I'm at it. Did this one in the middle actually upgrade? No, it didn't. Oh, don't come on. Don't tell me that's not happening. Don't be that way. Thank you. Didn't upgrade through the canals. That's interesting. Don't have much more, but I can extend the road as far as possible. There we go. Not bad. We'll gain it fast enough. Like, I tell me you wouldn't go for a swim in this thing. It's probably not culturally acceptable. Well, no, they're doing it. They're happy. They're big chilling. It's a really nice building. Are they over here as well? Oh, they're over here too. Oh. Oh, they're the priests. Messiet cool. is a rite of fertility, of life celebrating. It is the heart of Embesa, and we will teach you of it. Cool. Okay, participate in the Messiet. Observe the priests performing their rituals. Okay, groups of your crowd honor the oracle according to the ways of old. So bound to the Waha, their chant weaves hymns of lament to praise alike something is here something holy somehow okay observe the traditional dancing where's the traditional dancing is it a celebration or religious ecstasy it's impossible to say but a pure unbridled energy emanates from the villagers dancing in a corner you see abel and Ersu dancing with a stranger a young shepherd of unhealthy unearthly beauty oh really oh <laughs> Keep on keeping on, my friend. Why are you back here? I prefer the calm of the cliff. But from here, the Waha looks more beautiful than I ever could have imagined. Even from the stories of the Wahiyat. Only fair, we be hot generous in return. Alright, hold on. I'll hope I'll meet her again in the afterlife. Oh, come on, man. Okay, where's my gift? As is told in legends. Where water springs, so is memory unveiled. These soul bonds we would give to you as thanks. Thank you. You came to us a shema, Hi. stranger, yet learned to listen with heart mouth and soul words. You are one of us, Hamesi. I appreciate it and I appreciate the text. I will cherish it always. Begin the turn. 
All right, so that is Wahadesh's storyline situated, and uh, Jackass over here took full advantage of it. So he built up the Imperial Military Academy. He's also built up the Imperial Gardens and the Botanical Gardens. He's also fixed up these, uh, whatchamacallits, the, um, the bathhouses over here, which I, I honestly, ours is better. Just putting that out there. And I guess we have to really figure out what we're doing next. Well, I think, um, seeing as how the whole Angareb story kind of, you know, fell flat, unfortunately I can't do anything with them because I bombed the living hell out of their freaking, <laughs> their harbor area. Um, this, unfortunately, is not happening. But, uh, we do also still have the Caduceus and Yatoni story, so we're going to be working on that probably in the next episode. But we're going to get the Enterprise back home and figure out what we can do here. Um, getting the... So we have the clay pipes, yes? We can also bring over tobacco from uh, Torup. Let me um, let me see if that's possible. I'm going to have to send him a message. See if there's enough tobacco to bring over here. And if possible, we can get some of these pipes being made. And they should be even happier. But again, that really, it, it has to deal with our supply issues, because uh, I know fertilizer is a bit uh, scarce right now, so I don't really want Torp to uh, have to overexert his workers in getting more tobacco leaves out. But so far, uh, Tabarim is looking pretty good. We have most of the main city actually paved now, which is even, fa even more fantastic. Let's go for a little walk before we end it up here. Let's go straight through these massive gates into the bustling streets of Tabarim. I like how it's built alongside the wall. That's really cool. Alright, let's take a look see in this great market area. It's amazing. Like, look at this. It's crazy. How thrilling! A renowned personage has arrived. Really? Well, you gotta ruin the moment. Is, is it a good person? It's concierge. It's not even that good. But I'll take it anyway. All right, back in. People celebrate your leadership. Constantinople's having a festival. People are gathered around the musicians' court. This is the town hall right in the middle. The buildings are really pretty. People are all happy. Like island happiness is, is really, really good right now. Oh, they're making something out here. Got some more market areas over here. There are spots that we have to um, work towards beautification. But I really like this. So, like, it's on two sides of the canal. So you can walk on this side and then go to the other side. Now all we need to do is go get the one-pound fish guy to come over here. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> Why do I do this? Why am I like this? I don't even know anymore. Look at this! Holy shit! I am so happy! And I got a notification on my phone. Vinayak P. Mohan. I think that's how you say your name. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Really appreciate you. Look at that, dude! That's incredible! Is there somebody up there? No, it's, no, it's not. It's just incense. So there's a little park in the front here. Oh, I like the elephant. Have you guys seen elephants up close? I have once. Such incredible and so intelligent. So intelligent. Oh man, if only I could build this over there on Constantinople. If only. People swimming in here? Broke out. Where? Don't ruin the moment for me, man. Please don't. I was very concerned for a moment because uh, the actual building kind of disappeared. Oh, there's the common us in the back. Oh, this is so sick. So pretty. People just standing here going about their livelihoods. Let's, let's see if we can look at a different part of the the town. Oh, ceramic cart. Oh, cool. 
Yeah, those look pretty nice. I like it. Oh, elephant! Can I have the elephant? Is there fire here? To think you taught me. And now. It sounds like that fire is here. I hear the music. Where's the fire? Ready to fly. Oh, hell. Are you kidding? Oh, what the hell. Okay, well, where am, where am I going to build... Perfectly good movement, moment, moment, movement. Yeah, movement. A movement was ruined. So great. Uh, that's just my luck, man. It's fucking fantastic. All right. So with that, I'm gonna end the episode off right here. We did a lot. We got the Wahadisha story done. Unfortunately, the Angarev. Uh, well, I royally done fucked that one up. But. We'll catch you on the next episode. Please consider like, comment, subscribing. Hit that bell button to share it with your friends. I appreciate you all as usual. And I will catch you on the next episode.